Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have shared my experiences with you about what it's like for me to live with autism next to giving my opinion about how things should be done versus how they should not be done and then I like to give my two cents about what's going on with autism in the media and finally I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism or Asperger's. So anyway Last time I had shared with you my frustrations of dealing with people that are supposed to be understanding um, towards someone like me. And they can be somebody like a respite provider or a job coach or a boss or, um, I, I don't know, a family member, a behaviorist, you name it. And I also uh, wanted to uh, say again that uh, there's a fine line uh, between someone who is actually understanding and someone who is being tolerable due to anti-discriminatory laws when they really do not care at all. And I wanted to share an experience with that. So, um, about five years ago, I had been attending uh, an Emory or an autism center and I was receiving services to get better social skills and uh, I was uh, one of uh, the more outspoken persons on the autism spectrum and um, a lot of them were inspired by me and the fact that I had broken through a series of barriers. Next to uh, having Damon Wood come over to my house and do some interviews with me a couple years before that because he was uh, using the footage for a video uh, that went to a uh, great big uh, ball that I like to go to every year. And I thought maybe uh, since I was majoring in psychology and I had a reputation there that I could automatically get a job and that they would, they would immediately hire me. And I didn't even think about the conflict of interest laws uh, that the APA had put in place. That's the American Psychological Association. And I, um, I was turned down for a position and I was told that, well, we can't hire you because you are still a client here but you're welcome to go and uh, do some panels for us. We uh, would really like to hear your input. And uh, being who I am, that really tore me up inside. And um, I remember bumping into someone that I know. I'm not gonna give their name or their occupation, but when I got turned down, um, I ended up talking to someone that was supposed to be understanding of my situation. And um, as I was talking to them, they uh, they started to talk to me like um, I was a little kid. And probably because they'd heard the stereotypes that all people with autism live in their own worlds. And uh, they knew that I'm a fan of Tolkien and I love Lord of the Rings. And they knew that I like to volunteer on the Tolkien track at Dragon Con, which I had done for the first time uh, a couple weeks earlier. And I was sitting in the car with them. And crying my eyes out and they started to talk to me like I was a young six-year-old child and they said let's uh, let's change the subject let's talk about things that you like hmm what do you like you like Lord of the Rings want to talk about Lord of the Rings Maya and um, I automatically felt like such a joke and I said no that is not real and, you know, and they said, please, want to talk about it? And I said, no, I'm not going to talk about Lord of the Rings right now, if that's all right with you. And um, just because um, I have autism doesn't mean that I'm going to be in my own world. No, I want a career just like everybody else. I mean, just because um, I, again, because I have a label, it doesn't mean that I have to be treated like a lesser of a person. And um, yes. Um, they were trying to make me feel better, and I realized that they're only human. They're only doing what they have to do. But obviously, they didn't do enough positive research, and they didn't listen to Dr. Temple Grandin. No. Instead, they kept encouraging me to actually be a child, and they it's like they didn't want to deal. They just, uh, they just wanted to teach me how to escape rather than work through my problem, and that's really, really, really unhealthy. So... Um, if you uh, have any questions I would let or any comments do not be afraid to post down below um, also uh, do be not uh, please be sure to subscribe to my channel um, I look forward to hearing from you until next time my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now bye